Good evening, everyone. It's my honor to welcome you to the 54th Annual Celebration of Teaching Excellence at Charlotte. For those of you on the live stream, I do want to share we are sitting outside, somewhat socially distanced, and uh, enjoying a lovely evening. We're glad you could join us virtually. The Bank of America Award for Teaching Excellence and the UNC Charlotte Award for Teaching Excellence are two of the most important and prestigious tra traditions at Charlotte. As they honor outstanding teachers on our campus and provide an example of the university's commitment to excellence in teaching, I'd like to begin by acknowledging some of our special guests. First, Stephanie Hajek. Chief Financial Officer, Global Marketing and Communications at Bank of America. <laughs> next, next are three finalists for the Bank of America Award for Teaching Excellence. Aaron T. Miller, Vaughn Schmutz, and Annabella Aliaga Bucanau. Let's give them a hand. And our three finalists for the UNC Charlotte Award for Teaching Excellence, Catherine Asala, Mitchell Eisner, and Tanya Wurtz Orba. And finally, our faculty and guests joining us via li live stream. Thank you for tuning in to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of your colleagues. We purposefully schedule this event for this time of the year as there's always palpable air of excitement from faculty, staff, and students that comes at the beginning of a new academic year. And what an exciting year it is. We're back on campus. We will celebrate our 75th anniversary we launch our strategic plan, and we've launched our new brand platform. UNC Charlotte has enjoyed an astounding trajectory over the past 75 years, made possible by, incredibly facu by incredible faculty and staff, extraordinary students, and dedicated alumni. As we look forward to the next 75 years, and as we launch our new brand, we affirm that Charlotte is an inclusive, collaborative, creative, and fearless university. We're at the forefront of innovation, and we're using that to make a meaningful difference in our communities and in society as a whole. And let's admit, there's no better place to do that than in the city of Charlotte, one of the country's fastest growing and dynamic cities. Powering all of our achievements are you, our talented faculty, as you educate and support our students and conduct groundbreaking research. The faculty we're honoring tonight are true examples of what makes UNC Charlotte a great place for our students. These six individuals come from different backgrounds and have different methods of teaching, but they're all dedicated. They demand the best from their students and understand what it means to be an effective teacher, mentor, researcher, advisor, and motivator. They all reflect Charlotte's commitment to a welcoming, nurturing, inclusive, and inspirational learning environment. The selection committee had a tough job, and I'd like to formally thank them for their hard work this year. Let's give them a hand. I'd also like to acknowledge our past finalists and recipients. Thank you for all you've done to ensure Charlotte's success. While both of tonight's awards shine a light on a deserving member of our faculty, the Bank of America Award in particular represents the possibilities of partnership. In 1968, UNC Charlotte began a rich partnership with North Carolina National Bank, which became Nations Bank and is now Bank of America. 
This dedicated corporate citizen is an ally to UNC Charlotte in so many ways. With volunteer participation on our board of trustees, endowed professorships, support for tonight's award, the creation and implementation of the Applied Technology Program, sponsorship of the UNC Charlotte Civic Series, and educational programs in security analytics, which is helping position UNC Charlotte at the center of the data analytics revolution. With us tonight is Stephanie Hajek, Chief Financial Officer, Global Marketing and Communications at Bank of America. She's an accomplished financial services professional with 20 plus years of proven leadership and experience in technical accounting and advisory reporting, project management, big four audit and capital markets. Stephanie serves on the selection committee for these awards and is committed to helping us honor excellence in teaching at UNC Charlotte. Please join me in welcoming Stephanie Hajek. Good evening. It is an honor to be with you tonight to celebrate teaching excellence at UNC Charlotte. This annual celebration, 54 years strong, recognizes your outstanding faculty's commitment to teaching. Bank of America also realizes the power of people to make us a stronger organization as we endeavor to make a difference in the community. We are proud of the robust and long-standing partnership we have with UNC Charlotte. As the state's urban research university, UNC Charlotte is focused on providing interdisciplinary academic programs that support workforce needs in the Charlotte area and throughout the state. We at Bank of America, as well as other large corporations and small businesses throughout the region, benefit from this talent as we employ hundreds of UNC Charlotte alumni. UNC Charlotte is also focused on providing access to a transformative collegiate experience. We at Bank of America are excited to have collaborated with UNC Charlotte on a number of opportunities that have enhanced access for students. We provide valuable support for the Data Science Initiative and the Applied Technology Program with the College of Computing and Informatics and the Bell College of Business, and we offer our assistance with mentorship programs, executive education, and guest speakers. UNC Charlotte and Bank of America share a common goal of preparing individuals to achieve the best possible futures they can. But we could not do it without the amazing faculty and staff at the university. Excuse me. Tonight's faculty finalists are committed to changing the lives of their students. Not only do they welcome the opportunity to interact with their students, but they collaboratively engage in exploration that advances knowledge as they prepare students to become active, community-minded citizens of the world. This year's finalists are both impressive and inspirational. On behalf of Bank of America, thank you for shaping the lives of the students that you teach. You exemplify the highest standards of your noble profession. We are proud of you and are honored to celebrate with you tonight. Thank you. Well, good evening. It really is an honor to be with you all tonight, whether you're here or on the ethernet somewhere, um, as we celebrate inspiring and effective educators. Since 1968, we have selected honorees from among our full-time tenured faculty members with at least seven years of service to UNC Charlotte to be recognized through the Bank of America Award for Teaching Excellence. The university and our students also benefit from the excellent teaching of those with a range of titles, like lecturer, clinical professor, and teaching professor. Two years ago, we established the UNC Charlotte Award for Teaching Excellence, 
to honor these full or part-time faculty members who've had at least five years of teaching experience here at Charlotte. Tonight, we present six finalists, three for the Bank of America Award and three for the UNC Charlotte Award. Each of the finalists brings their own unique and impressive contributions to teaching. Like those who've been honored before them, they share some common characteristics. Their classrooms are places of inclusion, where the free expression of ideas is encouraged and welcomed, and where students of different backgrounds find acceptance. They are creative. No matter what discipline they teach, they find new and inspiring methods to spark their students' desire to learn and grow. And they're experts at building connections with their students, with their disciplines, with practical applications, and with our greater community. We'll begin by recognizing our three finalists for the UNC Charlotte Teaching Excellence Awards. Alphabetically, they are Catherine Asala from the Department of Chemistry. Kathy takes. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy takes a scholarly approach to her teaching and advocates for research-based learning processes that have helped transform the culture of teaching STEM courses at UNC Charlotte. She envisioned a community of practice for STEM faculty, and she sought partners to develop the Transforming STEM Teaching and Learning Academy. This has led to a broader adoption and deeper adoption of these student-centered learning methods across the university. As a faculty fellow in the UNC Charlotte Office of Undergraduate Education, she's a proponent of student-centered pedagogy, such as peer-led team learning and process-oriented guided inquiry. She also developed a concept called TASL, or Team Approach to Successful Learning, to deepen student learning. Kathy received a grant from the UNC Charlotte of Assessment to evaluate student performance in Chemistry 1252, and she's currently directing a grant from the UNC System Office to assess student learning in introductory chemistry courses. She's also working with the Office of Undergraduate Education on the Student Experience Project to improve student success and to close achievement gaps for students from underrepresented groups. Kathy consistently receives high praise from her students and was named the 2011 recipient of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences Award for Outstanding Teaching by a full-time lecturer. Kathy? Mitch Eisner, Department of Reading and Elementary Education. <laughs> Mitch Eisner demonstrates care and interest toward all his students and tailors his approach to the specific learning needs of each student he teaches. He's committed to continual improvement and regularly encourages students to provide feedback. Mitch was named Professor of the Year for 2018 by the Student Government Association. He is well regarded by his students and readily makes himself available to his students. Mitch is well known for informally mentoring a large number of students as they exit the program and begin to search for teaching positions. He provides resume feedback and mock interviews with dozens of graduating students each year. The trust and respect he builds in the classroom extends beyond his teaching duties for the university as alumni and first-year teachers invite him to their classrooms and seek his suggestions for improving their teaching practices. Mitch and his colleagues were recognized with a national award by the National Association for Professional Development of Schools for their three-year partnership with Kannapolis City Schools that included professional development for teachers and administrators, classroom observation, and support to enhance the learning environment. Mitch? Thank you. 
Next is Tanya Wurtz Orbao, Department of Writing, Rhetoric, and Digital Studies. Tanya values collaborative learning where students work in groups, spend time on low stakes assignments, and develop projects based on personal interests and goals. Her writing classes for first year college students provide a support system for students beginning their college experience. We have a lot of those this year. <laughs> she assigns students to permanent writing groups that become communities within the community of the classroom. She supports students' curiosity through inquiry projects and facilitating public uses of their research and written texts. To encourage collaboration, she's invited students to present with her at conferences. Tanya is an active member of the university writing program where she mentors other faculty and graduate students. She also volunteered to mentor, mentor the English department's graduate teaching assistants who teach in the first year writing program. She's worked with the National Writing Project for many years and has partnered with local middle and high school teachers. Tanya? Another round of applause for all of these finalists for the Charlotte Teaching Excellence Award. And now it is my pleasure to announce the recipient of the 2021 UNC Charlotte Teaching Excellence Award, Dr. Catherine Asala. Congratulations. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe I'm up here. As my chemistry department colleagues will attest to, we're not always the most popular faculty in the university. <laughs> so forgive me for my, my surprise. Thank you to the selection committee. Um, I know you've spent a tremendous amount of time sifting through uh, a lot of information over the last year, and I just thank you for your time and uh, the honor of this award. Um, thank you for giving me a few minutes uh, to take the opportunity to publicly acknowledge some very important people in my life. I would not be here teaching at UNC Charlotte <clears throat> without their influence on my life. I need to thank my mom My mom taught me to do my work first and play later. Mom, thank you for hiding the cord to the TV all those years growing up until I finished my homework. It was a smart strategy. You taught me discipline and a strong work ethic. My high school chemistry teacher, Miss Deborah Pyle, who taught me not only to love chemistry, but also taught me so much more about myself and my potential as a student. Ms. Pyle believed in me, she encouraged me, and taught me that with extremely hard work, you can accomplish anything. Ms. Pyle, I hope I am at least a fraction of the inspiration you were to me, to my students. My aunt, who encouraged me to, and supported me and fed me lots uh, throughout my graduate school career. Uh, she, she received a, a lot of shed tears on her shoulder and her home and family were a sanctuary to me um, throughout those difficult years. Let me turn to more recent um, folks who have 
helped me make it through these last few years. My husband, Doug, who day in and day out for the last 23 years has supported my professional endeavors uh, and often has carried more than his share of the weight in raising our, our, our family. Bree, my daughter, and my son, Daniel, uh, who have given up a lot of time with their mom um, so that I could stay and answer one more question for a student or do one more task for work. Thank you for your sacrifice. Uh, in my professional life, I need to thank my chemistry colleagues who make it a great department to work in. Uh, a few I'm going to mention specifically by name due to their invaluable contribution to my su success as an educator. Uh, about 10 years ago, I began to learn more about how students learn and uh, gradually shifted to more student-centered pedagogies in the classroom. And two chemistry colleagues in particular uh, joined me on that journey, uh, Drs. Joanna Krieger and Dr. Peggy uh, Geiger. Uh, and we jumped on a ship that we thought was sinking many times, uh, but we all persevered and held each other up. Uh, so thank you, Joanna and Peggy, for uh, co-developing learning activities for our students uh, and for your camaraderie. My chair, Dr. Donovan Merkert, who's been very supportive uh, these last few years of my passion for teaching. Uh, thank you, Bernadette, for letting us try new things and uh, just inspiring your faculty to, uh, to be bold. Uh, my co-conspirator, or, or I mean uh, co-facilitator, I'm not exactly sure where she's sitting, but Tanya Bates, Ms. Tanya Bates in the Department of Biological Sciences, Tanya, thank you for saying yes three years ago um, to the vision of the Transforming STEM Academy. What started out as a shared passion uh, for transforming STEM education here at UNC Charlotte has turned into a lasting friendship. You continue to inspire me with your creativity, uh, with your students' first perspective as you teach, and your big heart that gives selflessly every day. Above all, I would like to thank my creator, God, who richly blessed, blessed me with a profession that brings me great joy each day. May this award bring him honor and praise. Thank you. Next, I'd like to recognize the finalists for the Bank of America Award for Teaching Excellence. First is Annabelle Aliaka Bucanau, who is recognized as a master teacher in the Department of Language and Culture Studies and beyond. A gifted and versatile classroom instructor, she's generous with her time, students seek her out for mentoring, and are eager to help her organize the many extracurricular activities that she develops. To make the curriculum more relevant to students and future employees, Annabelle restructured the program to include career-oriented courses in translating, business, engineering, and added humanities-based offerings in youth literature and contemporary literature and culture. She led the development of undergraduate and graduate certificates in translating, as well as certificates in business German and German for engineering. She's also had an important role in the development of minors in Chinese and Arabic studies, and the creation of the minor in Holocaust, genocide, and human rights. Under Annabelle's leadership, the number of German majors has more than quadrupled, an achievement that drew national attention, with the Chronicle of Higher Education ranking the program in spring 2019 as number two in the US and number one in North Carolina for the number of graduates. Annabelle? from the Department of Reading and Elementary Education. 
Reflective, engaging, and collaborative. These are the words that describe Erin Miller's approach to teaching and scholarship. She creates opportunities for students to reflect upon the knowledge they're obtaining, but she also learns from those she works with and continues to seek new knowledge that will enable her to become a more effective educator. Erin's teaching philosophy incorporates various modalities to address different learning styles, as well as to demonstrate for her students the responsive pedagogies they can use in their own classrooms. She, helps, she further helps the future teachers in her classes to capitalize on their strengths as learners, just as they will eventually encourage their own students to do. Her work addresses anti-racist pedagogy, racial identity construction, and early literacy. Erin co-led a faculty group focused on enacting anti-racist pedagogy throughout the undergraduate curriculum led the development of a junior level course that provides foundational information about social justice and diversity to teacher candidates, and helped the department to develop a sequence of instruction to prepare, prepare future teachers for an increasingly diverse P-12 population. She participated in an instruct, instructional innovation program for online teaching that coincided with her co-development co of a four course graduate certificate in anti-racism and urban education and develop two courses for Quality It Matters certification. Erin? Vaughn Schmutz from the Department of Sociology. Students often describe Vaughn as approachable and caring. He's honed these traits over years of teaching in an effort to create a collaborative classroom environment that empowers creative, critical sociological thinking among his students. Vaughn is committed to helping all students reach their potential and is known as a sought after mentor. He establishes strong mentoring relationships with students as director of the Global Village Learning Community and as the interim coordinator of the Sociology Bridge Learning Community. He served as a mentor for Charlotte Research Scholars and Charlotte Community Scholars for several years, and he's chaired both honors theses and master's theses. Vaughn is a faculty fellow for recruitment and diversity initiatives within the Office of Undergraduate Research and is a frequent advisor at the undergraduate research conference. He also seeks to improve graduate students in his own, involve graduate students in his own research and helps them pre prepare to present at professional conferences. Vaughn served on the department's large course redesign committee and on the College of Liberal Arts and Science faculty implementation committee for the Prospect of Success program. Congratulate Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting <you. laughs> Please join me once again in congratulating all of these finalists. And it is now my pleasure to announce the recipient of the 2021 Bank of America Award for Teaching Excellence, Annabelle Aliaga Lucanara. Congratulations. being you, putting it down very carefully. Okay. Um, ah, I'm a little bit shaky. <laughs> Good evening. 
I know I was supposed to prepare remarks, and Chancellor Gaber, I really miss our, um, our teleprompter now. <laughs> this would be so helpful. Um, I recently was my first time speaking with a teleprompter, and it was very helpful, um, because then you don't look at your notes. Um, let me just try to express um, what this means to me. Maybe my hands will tell the story. They're shaking. Um, teaching is my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, and I've, in essence, done so since first grade when I started school and I started helping the teacher. Um, I've always liked teaching. And it's such an honor to be recognized with this award. Um, first, I would like to express my thanks to everyone who help me get to this moment um, and a few breaths. <laughs> thank you, Chancellor Gaber. Um, thank you, Provost Lorden. And thank you, Dean Gutierrez, who's somewhere here, um, for making this possible, for allowing us to, you know, develop in the ways that, um, that were possible. If when I started to say I want to take students abroad, they said, "Okay, go ahead," um, and and we did. And so, um, the support has been um, instrumental in um, all the success. Um, I think of all of us. Um, I'm very grateful for the support. Um, great thanks, and Kathy, I can only. Um, say what you said to the selection committee. I know how much work this is. I'm so grateful for the hours that you spend <laughs> reading about us and um, the the interest you show in in making this such an amazing moment. Um, um, thanks to you also to our event team. I don't know if they're here. Yes, all the way back there. Give them a round of applause. As Provost Lorden said, I've um, um, organized some extracurricular events um, with my team, and um, it's a lot of work, and every little detail is so perfect, so thank you all. Um, great thanks goes to my chair, Dr. Michelle Bissier, who incidentally is a previous recipient of this award. Yay, Michelle. Um, she herself is a master teacher, and I've learned so much uh, from her. I'm really grateful for her leadership. Um, we, she really leads by example, which is why I'm standing here today. And um, uh, we kind of have gone through fire last year. <laughs> so it's been really an honor to work with her and to, um, you know, to have made it uh, through this pandemic well and to continue making it. Um, I've loved working together and figuring out how to get through uh, every crisis. And speaking of getting through a pandemic, I would like to thank our business services coordinator, Ms. Carol Hartley, without whom everything would fall apart. And um, our administrative support associate, Jules Ganey Moore, who has been, you know, often eight hours a day working with me trying to get through this. Um, thank you also to all my colleagues and friends who came tonight to cheer me on. Thanks to everybody. I don't know where the live stream is. Oh, probably back there. Um, <laughs> my German staff is amazing. I could never do any event without them. And all my colleagues in all the other languages who seem to think even German events are important and they um, support us also. Um, finally, like Kathy, I have to bring up my mom. Uh, she was a teacher, and all I ever wanted, all I ever wanted was to be like her. And um, talking about mom's heart. <laughs> and she would have been happy to see this moment. Um, my dad, Alfredo, who's starting to be famous around here, <laughs> came from Spain three days ago, four days, no, well, probably a week ago. Um, and um, he's always believed in me and uh, let me go. He was, uh, he was, he, he, he kind of led by example too. He left Spain and lived in Germany and you know, it, it was normal. You go to other countries. So here I am in America. And finally, shout out to my daughter, Julia, who's a new Niner. Go Niners. <laughs> Don't cry, Julia, it's okay. <laughs> and my son, Nicholas. 
um, who's in grad school uh, at that other school we don't mention, Chapel Hill. And um, my husband, Jürgen, who's also a Niner, you can cheer for him, so that's fine. Um, thank you, all of you, for believing in me and um, pushing me and saying, keep going, and you, you can do this. So um, thank you to all of you. What an honor to stand here. And um, thank you to everybody for coming and to my, my co-winners. We're all winners. We're all here. Um, thank you. So this is a small sample of our fabulous faculty. Now you know why this is such a great university. Congratulations to you all. Well, I agree. What a tremendous night. The recipients, the uh, finalists, so proud of all of you. For me, obviously, this was my first live teaching awards event. So. It was truly a pleasure to be here with everybody to learn even more about our faculty. What an incredible group. Um, I want to, let's give the uh, finalists and recipients one more hand, if we can. I, I want to thank everyone for your commitment to teaching excellence at Charlotte. For our finalists and the recipients, we are going to do photos just after this over on the plaza on the side here. So please don't go and please bring your awards with you. Um, to everybody who has joined us, both in person and via live stream, I wanna thank you for being here. So glad we could do it in person. I look forward to an outstanding semester. Thank you for all that you do. Go Niners.